Hi everyone and welcome to a new video by Analytics with Ahmed. In this video, I'll walk you through on how to set up or configure Hotjar on any website and also what are user attributes and how to configure them for your Hotjar tracking. So let's get started. When you sign up for Hotjar, it will ask you for some details. So let's go through these step by step. And for your information, the steps might look a bit different because when you sign up for a new account you will direct it to the hojar onboarding wizard but for me it looks like that because i'm creating a sub account under my main account so let's give this a name so i'm gonna name it test and then for the site url i'm just gonna copy my website url from here and add it over here can select industry and then add site or create site cool we now have our website created now let's click on the install tracking code over here to install Hotjar on our website. There are several methods to set up your Hotjar tracking on the website. You can use a native integration like for Shopify, WordPress, or even use Google Tag Manager. And you can also send this to a developer. So if you click down here, it will ask you for an email for your developer and it will automatically send all the required instructions to your development team. But for us, let's explore the native integration option. So let's use Google Tag Manager. Once you select the Google Tag Manager, Hojar asks you to select a Gmail where you have access to that Google Tag Manager. So you'll just need to give it some permissions. And here you'll need to add your Google Tag Manager account name. And then you'll just need to add the container over here or select the container and then select Create and Publish and just make sure that you don't have any outstanding changes within your default workspace so to verify this go, go to your google tag manager container and click on the default workspace and make sure that you don't have any changes that are added over here because hotjar what it's currently doing is it's creating the tracking for hotjar and it will publish any unpublished changes within the default workspace once it's done, it will ask you to verify the installation. So you'll just need to click on verify installation over here and add in your website URL and click verify. What this will do is that it will open a new window of your website and Hojar will check if the installation is done correctly. So for my case, it does not install because actually this Google Tag Manager container is not installed on that website. So if your Google Tag Manager is installed on your website, you will get a success message. And if you actually check the tags section over here within the Google Tag Manager account or container that we have connected, you'll actually see that they have created this tag automatically. And this is a Hotjar tracking template where it asks you to add the Hotjar tracking ID over here and it fires on all pages. But let's go now to another Google Tag Manager container and try configuring this manually without the native integration. And this is the method that I actually prefer because I don't like any external tool to have access to my container and push any changes to my Google Tag Manager account. Now in another Google Tag Manager container where I have the tracking configured and it is active on the website. So you'll see that I have a similar tag. So this is the Hotjar tag. It is really similar to the one that Hotjar have created, but the difference here is that it have a different tracking ID. So if you want to install this manually, all you need to do is going to Google Tag Manager and then go to tags and hit add tags, click on this space and then just type Hotjar and select the Hotjar template and then you'll be prompted with the same template so all what you need to do is that you'll need to get your Hotjar site id so go back to your Hotjar account and then within this code you will find the id you can find it after the hj id which is this one so you just need to copy this id and then go to google tag manager paste it here and add all pages or page view trigger and that's it. The second thing that you can do within Hotjar is actually configuring events and passing the parameters or parameters to these events. And this is what is called user attributes inside Hotjar. So within Hotjar, go to the integrations section and then select user attributes, select your website. So let's select this for example. And then in step two, it asks us to 
past our user ID. So this is ideally a custom HTML tag that we can create within Google Tag Manager. And by the way, if you're not sure what is a custom HTML tag or if you're not familiar with Google Tag Manager at all, make sure to take my Google Tag Manager course. The link to that course is in the video description. It's completely free. But anyway, as you can see, it asks us to pass user ID. So this, this ideally comes from our data layer. And then it asks us to send the attributes like this. So for example, if it's an event, we should send sign up. If it's parameter like total purchases or lost refund date or anything like that, we can also send that using the same format. So I have these prepared in Google Tag Manager. So I have one for purchase, one for login, and one for email sign up. So let's select the purchase custom HTML tag and see how this is built. So as you can see, the first thing that I'm doing is that I'm passing the user ID and date. And then this, if you compared it to what we were just seeing, it is really similar to what we had. So we're calling Hotjar with window.hj. And then we're sending the user ID that we have defined up here. And then we are passing the total purchases. We also have a data layer variable that contains that number, total spent, last purchase date. If we go back and check the email sign up tag, we will see that it looks really similar, but we're only sending email sign up event over here. And this is how you can configure your Hojar tracking. If you like this video and find it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you can like, share the video and subscribe to my channel. This was Ahmed and yeah, see you in the next video.